Well, this really follows on from the ultra record player we were doing um, last weekend. And this is the little mono amplifier, the Thorn BRC, British Radio Corporation 6401 amplifier. Now, the matching one is supposed to be the 6402, but I found this on eBay. It wasn't free. It wasn't free by a long way, because it was £29. And considering it's going to have to be fully serviced, that's uh, not free, is it? Right, um, so what have we got? We've got on-off, volume, bass and treble. Pretty similar styling to the Ultra product. Socket for the pickup input, which is what we'll be using. Socket for a tape input, socket for a transistor radio input from its earphone jack. And you've got a four pinned in microphone, so it can be used as a five watt public address amplifier. So I'm going to get Mr. Chippy to take that apart when he's put a mains plug on. And we should find exactly the same module uh, for the audio amplifier that was in the Ultra we were doing last week, which is the same module used in the Stereo Master 2040 with which we are familiar. And we do have the service manual for this exact products luckily which was 1970 so there we are we'll get Mr Chippy to take it apart so there we are with the back off and the knobs in the dishwasher and um, I'll just get Mr C to do you want to just move the thing forward so we can see the it's the same module which I'm sure it is it is the same module yes and if we can just move the camera down a bit which I've just hopefully and you see it's got the same 8x5 speaker and it's got those nasty black capacitors. I just adjust that and then we might actually be able to see it. Just point to some of those black capacitors which we hate. Hunts and all that. We'll move that, get rid of that blue one as well, just like we did on the Ultra. And then the job hopefully will be fab and brill. Right, so we'll get those changed and we'll put the camera back on. Ah, as you can see it's got all new capacitors in there I'm sure Mr Chippy will point them out yeah we've left the selenium rectifier in there till we've actually tried it we ended up changing that for a modern silicon one if you remember in the ultra we did here's the tub full of horrible capacitors we'll put those on the SR meter later and see what they say right we're going to test this and um, then when we've put it back together we'll put it on uh, on tape if it actually works and well, let's hope that the uh, AD162, AD161 complementary output pair don't fail like they did on the Ultra Record player with the same module that lasted for two and a half minutes if you last, if you remember until we had to change that pair of transistors so with that I will talk to you again when we've put it together Right, so here's the amplifier working. We've plugged it into an HMV transistor radio. Tape socket on the radio to tape socket input on the amplifier. And uh, there you have it. It's working fine. Mr Chippy has just tuned Radio 1, BBC Radio 1 in. And there's this strange racket. Knobs are out of the dishwasher. And that will be ready to mate up to the ultra record player that we did last weekend. So there you have it, the BRC stroke ultra stroke thorn amplifier. Thanks for watching.